is super, super shiny. Wow, that surprised me. That's incredible. I had no idea, like, it's just sitting out in the open. Week and a half. All excellent condition. Very nice. Check that out. Guys, let's do some shelling down under. It is a fantastic day. Let's get straight into the video. It's out. We might have something beauty, or it might be alive. Oh, it's hard to tell. What do we think, you guys? Comment down below, is this shell going to be live, empty, or dead, or broken? Comment down below right now. Alrighty, let's take a look. I reckon, my guess is it's gonna be empty, come on. And, it's empty, nice. That is fantastic condition as well. That's like one of the best ones I've found this week. And this week I have found plenty. I've probably found about 15 or 20 of these in the last week and a half. All excellent condition. Very nice. Check that out. Beauty Arabian on a beauty day. Nice. Shiny as. Phew. I think we might have another Arabian. Oh, come on. Look at this, look where we are. We are right at the front of the beach. I'm never able to come this far. Come on, is this gonna be the second one of the day? I reckon it is. It's not moving, it's in sand. Let's take a look. Oh my goodness, it is. Wow, that's wicked. Two awesome Arabian cowries right there. Nice. Which one's better, guys? Let me get the other one out of my pocket. Look at that. That is fantastic. I reckon that one's been sitting there a while. It smells like uh, dirt or sand. That's awesome. Two Arabians. Wow. That was a nice little surprise there, hidden. Absolutely fantastic. Drop a like, guys. That was incredible. See, look at it. Look at where we're at. Right at the hill here, we always come around here and we can never usually get like even that far into the water but it is like negative low tide right now. We are way out here and we got spoiled. Phew! Right, shell under here maybe. Looks pretty big. Uh, let's just go for it. Nice! It is pretty big and it's really nice condition. Tiny hole there. No cracks though. Which is sweet. So many bonnets today, guys. Awesome. I wonder if Mr. Octopus is around here. Nice. Alright, we got the first shells of the day. First steps in the water as well, that's pretty freezing. But I think I see two nice bonnet shells stuck down here. Let's wait for this water. We're at the front side today, checking it out. Alright, let's grab them up, eh? They look pretty good, pretty small. Oh, that's freezing. Nice, wow, that's actually a cool colour. Huh. And then, what's the bottom one like? Hold on, that might be another one there. Ah, uh, just a piece. Cool, oh, hold on. We got a checkered bonnet stuck there as well. So we got like a pasty bonnet there and sort of a checkered bonnet. It's got little checks underneath. I'll show you guys those, all three of them, when I pull this one up. Uh, it's pretty stuck. Nice. It's like really round. Shame about missing the, uh, it's like sort of missing the color on top there a little bit. Let me grab out the other three, empty of course. Let me grab the other three out of my pocket. Nice. So we got three shells there. One, two, three bonnets to start off the day. All different, actually. One pasty, one pretty normal, and a checkered bonnet. Nice. Let's keep shelling. This is what we're working with today. Super low, super blue day. Let's see what shells we can find. First carry shell of the day here might be a nice bigger rosa. Yes, it sure is. Wow. Awesome condition, that's for sure. Do we have, we've got two Snakeheads here, this one here, it's really old, I won't keep it. Oh man, is that a grape? Oh no, blue cowrie piece, I thought it was a grape. And is this live? No, it's not, wow, that's surprising. I thought that would have been live for sure. 
a snakehead cowrie, and we have another one. Wow, they seem to be everywhere right now. So we've got three, I mean two snakehead cowries and a giant erosa. That's a really nice size erosa. I really believe that one would have been empty. I mean live. Because like look, there's so many living ones around here. There's one. You'll probably be able to see like 10 or 15 more within the next 30 seconds. They're just everywhere on this side. Look at this pool. I love this little tide pool here. How pretty is that? see straight through it it'll be a beautiful day to go snorkeling today but my uh, jet ski still has the oil leak and it's gonna be fixed next week hopefully the weather stays clear let's check out the uh, front of this rock here see what we can find might be a little bit high right now might have to come back to it let's just go around the front see if it's possible it's definitely very clear. If I can spot a shell, we'll probably be able to, yeah, we'll be right here. Anything there? I see an erosa, but it looks super old. This water is so clear. Is that a rock shell? Oh, that's a cowrie. Wow. Super, super old Arabian cowrie on its last legs on the top there. I think it might actually be a um, Eglantina, I believe. Nice teeth. It's just very old. Don't see much there. Focus, there we go. Might have one of these gem conditioned uh, snail shells. These ones are everywhere. Uh, I'm really just trying to find one gem condition one because I actually don't have one. These are everywhere, so I never ever collect them. But I'm trying to find one gem condition one to keep for the collection. Oh well, we'll find one. Alrighty, I haven't seen a giant prickly droop like this in quite a while. Let's take a look. Wow. Oh wow, it's got a crabby in it. I thought for sure that it would be empty by the way it was lying upside down. Obviously, he couldn't get back up around. It just needs a really nice uh, wash in some bleach bath, and that one would have been awesome. But hey, you've got a really nice house, my friend. Let's put him back around the right way this time so he can chill out. All right, see ya, buddy. That's a massive house for him. Got another bonnet shell in here, and I see a moon snail up in there, and maybe even a cowry here, yeah. Let's check out the cowry first. Where's it gone? There it is. Still haven't figured out what these ones are called pretty interesting I found a good amount of these recently nice little bonnet shell it's actually one of the biggest ones of the day nice good size good color don't know if I want to grab that moon snail oh I don't see anything I left my glove in the car again today so I think we'll leave that and we'll keep searching two nice little shells right there look at this little uh, elongated triton here it's a live one. Well, it's got a little crabby in it. Not the original owner, but that is very cool. Let's uh, watch him walk around. Also, I spotted this uh, crown cone here. Where's it gone? There it is, maybe. No, nope. oh, I must have disappeared. But yeah, look at this. How cool is that? Really nice shell. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Crown cone. Perfect. Pretty nice condition, and little bean carry sitting here. Nice. He's walking pretty fast. He's about to fall down that cliff. Nope. Pretty strong dude. Nice. Go through this little uh, honey hole here, you guys. We got a little moon snail there. Pretty sweet. And actually a purplish moon snail. Whoa. That's very nice. Look at this little moon snail. Pretty cool. Oh, there you go. Yeah. We got a snakehead. Sweet. Another snakehead, maybe. Yeah, it's pretty old. I'm gonna leave that one. Big old worm shell. It's cool. Drip shell. Found one of these earlier, but it was alive. Nice. A couple of goodies there. Let's chuck them up here. Did find this striated piece as well. 
It's pretty cool. Shame it's not whole. What else do we have? Deer carry piece. So many shells. My goodness. Little zebra volute. Deer piece. Not too much sitting over here. Or underneath. Just a massive pile. I haven't been able to go through a pile like this in a long time. Blue carry, that's about it. Let's keep searching.